Hi everyone, welcome to the Ruby League History Channel. I hope you're all well and welcome to the video. Tonight's video is going to be The Many Faces of Jacob Glegg Part 3. So I'm going to be discussing notorious NRL social media troll Jacob Glegg in this video. So, Jacob Glegg's at it again. After doing Part 1 and Part 2 of my video series, you'd think he'd pack it in, maybe go in the head and maybe... Stop being a troll, but no, he's still going. And some of the stuff I'm going to mention tonight will shock you, so stay tuned while I bring you all the spicy details. If you're new to the channel and you don't know who Jacob Glegg is, he's a NRL social media troll, very well known amongst the community. He's banned from multiple sites, but he doesn't know when to quit. He doesn't know when to stop. And some of you might be thinking, Ruby League history. How come he's still making videos? All you have to do is just ignore him. All you have to do is just block him. Well, we've done that and he still goes. And I remember seeing someone once, Jacob Glegg, he's like the Joker off the Dark Knight. He doesn't really have an end goal. All he wants to do is just watch the world burn, like the Joker did in the Dark Knight. And that's what Jacob Glegg's like. So anyways, I'm going to get into part three now. And some of these details are quite spicy, so stand back. It's quite hot. <laughs> But anyways, I'm not, I'm not saying it's hot, hot, but it's kind of like medium to high level chilly hot. So it started off with messages. A lot of us were getting threatened messages. A lot of us were getting messages, um, spam messages from Jacob Leg, all that. Especially on the live streams. The live streams, Nick from Australia did a couple of live streams. You had Warriors NRL Fanatics, NRL Vid090 doing live streams. I can't do live streams because I don't have a laptop and you have to have a thousand subscribers to do a live stream on your, your phone for some reason through YouTube. So I couldn't do a, a live stream, but they were doing the live streams and they were getting a lot of um, negative comments on there. They were getting a lot of dislikes even before the live stream had even really started. There'd already be 15, 20 dislikes and you'd be thinking, what's going on here? Like, but it got to a point where Nick from Australia, Warriors, Warriors NRL Fanatics and NRL Vids 090 had to stop their live streams. And especially with Nick from Australia, after one live stream, I'd never seen him so drained in all my life. Ever since I've known him, he looks just emotionally, physically and mentally drained from the constant trolling from Jacob Glegg on the live streams. And then this occurred on Warriors NRL Fanatics. He did a video about Jacob Glegg, and the NRL Vid 090 did another video, and also Nick from Australia did another video. So on top of the two videos I did, and some of the videos that they'd done before, they did further videos denouncing Jacob Glegg, asking him to stop, asking him to stop trolling, but no, he kept going. He's like the Joker after Dark Knight. He doesn't know when to stop, and he wants to watch the world burn. And then... It escalated, so Nick from Australia would be doing live streams and then he'd be getting phone calls from blocked numbers constantly. Phones from blocked numbers, he'd pick up an answer, go, hiya, you're all right, what do you want? They'd be out on the other end of the line and they'd just hang up. Then it got to a point where they were phoning up pizza companies, so like you know, Domino's or whatever you've got in Australia, he was getting pizzas delivered to his house. Um, he was getting, even in one phone call, he was getting a tow truck delivered to his house. Someone had phoned up, presumably Jacob Glegg, and asked for a phone truck to go to Nick from Australia's house. On top of that, there was a couple of posts done by Jacob Glegg and this other lad posting Nick from Australia's phone number and his address on the actual... Um, on, on their pages saying phone this number, phone this uh, person and harass them. And uh, I've got a couple of the messages here and a couple of the, the actual text messages and, and phone calls. So in one of them, there was uh, someone that phoned and said, you live at this address and then happy Easter. And then they said, I'm outside your window with a knife and a gun. I can see you inside. And then... There was also another message where um, they sent a message to Nick from Australia saying, I'm in your backyard and I can see Nick and Josh Ford. And then he said, I've got a knife and I've got a gun on that occasion as well. So Nick from Australia 
And Josh Thorne always been the Broncos were on edge there. And then he was sending threatening messages to a couple of other people, most notably John Tottenham Hotspur Football Club 94. He said, this was from Jacob Glegg's fake account, Ashcroft Truth, 88, or 68, sorry, saying, I wish you were in Australia. I would beat the living fuck out of you. COVID dumb fuck. There was a couple of other messages as well from someone by the name of Lockie Schmidt. I don't know if this was Jacob Glegg or if this was actually someone called Lockie Schmidt, but he sent a message to Nick from Australia saying, You're fat as fuck, cunt. Go on then, fatty features in the corner post. I'll come and bash your head in. I know your address. You live in a shit house. You live in a fucking shack in the middle of nowhere. Fuck you, a junkie, eh, brother? So he had messages like that. And then on top of all that, you had um, phone calls and everything like that. You had Jacob Glegg making videos about Nick from Australia, but he was editing them in a way that made Jacob Glegg out to be the victim and Nick from Australia to be the cyber bully. And I mentioned that in my um, second video in the Many Faces of Jacob Glegg series, where Jacob Glegg had gone onto the Gold Coast Titans fan page and said... This lad's bullying me because I've got autism and he's telling me to go off and jump off a uh, Byron Bay lighthouse. But in these two videos that he posted, mind you, these got 95% dislikes. In one of them he said, Nick from Australia is calling out a 17-year-old kid with autism and he's also saying that I'm a disease. And then there was another message sent by this Ashcroft True 68 which said Lorenzo's death, which is NRL Vince 090. Lorenzo's death is in approximately 5 hours, 15 minutes and 45 seconds. So there was all that going on. There was more threatening messages and more threatening phone calls. And it got to a point where two YouTubers, CJ Moxley and NRL Vince 090, a.k.a. Lorenzo Mako, said, right, that's enough. And he sent a message to Jacob Glegg and he says, we're coming down to Campbelltown Railway Station, which is close to where you live, three o'clock on this day, be there. So anyway, Lorenzo and CJ Moxley head down there. And even before all that, this Ashcroft True 68, which is Jacob Glegg was going, I'll fucking meet you there. I'll fucking smash both of you. I'll fucking cave your heads in all this. I'll fucking have yous. Anyway, they get down there and they go, okay, Jacob Glegg, we're here. And then he messages back and says, I'm in Canberra. Sorry, I can't be there today. And I knew this would happen. I knew he, I knew he wouldn't show up. Then a couple of days later, CJ Moxie and Lorenzo said, all right, we're going to be down there on this day, this time. Be there. And Jacob Glegg's going, I'll fucking be there. I'll fucking I'll kill both of you. I'll fucking smash your faces in all this caper. They get down there and they go, okay, Jacob Glenn, where are you? And he goes, oh, sorry, I'm in Newcastle. And then another time, he said, I'm in Gunella Bar or somewhere like that. He, he was sending threatening messages to Luther King saying, I'm in Gunella Bar. So he had all that. And look, if I'm in England at the moment. I, I can't really do that. All I can do is just do these videos. But if I lived in Australia, I would message Jacob Glenn and say, look, I'm going to be here. Campbelltown Railway Station at this day, this time, and I'd say, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be there. And when I, sh when I showed up, I'd do like a live video, or I'd do something like that, and I'd say, look, Jacob Glay, I know you're watching. If you're not down here in half an hour, you're forever a yellow belly coward, and nobody wants to be a yellow belly coward. And I guarantee you, he still probably wouldn't show up. Anyway. Going on to the next uh, thing that he's done in this part three of the many faces of Jacob Legg. And this one probably outdoes them all. So as we know, the other day, um, Tommy Radonica's dad, our Tommy, one of the icons of rugby league. I was pretty upset about it because I'm a bit older than some of the other people. So I didn't get to see him play, but I saw a lot of highlights and I know a lot about Tommy Radonica's. And... Uh, Anyway, Jacob Glegg, on his one of his pages, Jacob Glegg, I think 2014, he had a photo of Tommy Radonikus and underneath he said, ha ha, sucked in, you're dead, all this keep it. I mean, how are you, man? That's, that's really low. To do something like that, even if you don't like someone, to do someone 
do that to someone after they've died. It's very, very low. I posted this on my Rugby League History Instagram and Facebook pages, of course. About 99% of people were with me. Um, but I think out of all the things that Jacob Glegg has ever done, that's probably the lowest of the low. I mean, doing that, seeing that about Tommy Radonigas is uh, beyond the appeal as far as I'm concerned. It's fucking disgusting. Uh, and I'm surprised that Instagram didn't take down the post, but it's still there if you if you want to see it. But in conclusion, some of you might be asking, Ruby League History, why do you do these videos? Just block, just ignore. Well, we've done all that. We've tried all that. And he keeps going. And he's never going to stop. Jacob Legg's never going to stop. He's got no shame. He's got no soul. He's got no heart. His family doesn't care. People have messaged his family. All his family see is, stop picking on our son. He's got autism. All this other shit. They don't give a fuck. But... <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 fucking, they don't give a fuck but at the end of the day all I can do is just do these videos and raise awareness for people out there that this is Jacob Lake, this is what he's like and just be careful and I guarantee you that there'll be part 4, there'll be part 5 of this series he won't ever stop he'll, he'll just keep going and I'll be there with this phone ready to make videos <laughs> so anyway that's me Part 3 of the Jacob Glegg, Many Faces of Jacob Glegg series. I guarantee you that the moment that I post this video, I'll have a message from Jacob Glegg saying, why are you making videos about me, Dean? And I'll have about 10 dislikes, but I don't give a fuck because <laughs> there's going to be people out there that uh, are going to like the video. And that, That's actually another thing before I go. Jacob Glegg thinks that by disliking videos that it's going to somehow destroy our channels. Well, I got news for him. YouTube doesn't really care about dislikes these days. They care about viewer retention and views. So the fact that Jacob Clegg actually clicks on our videos is, is helping us. So he's digging his own hole in the ground there. Like, But anyway, last week video. The Many Faces of Jacob Clegg Part 3. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel but haven't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. Anyways, this is Ruby the History. Signing off, and I'll catch us all later in the next video. Alright, tatty bye now.